All right, guys, 2013 Ford C Max SEL Hybrid. And customer complaint is they replaced the engine, the gasoline engine, and uh, the car started one time, shut off, and will not start back again. The, en the gasoline engine started and it will not do anything. So the key is battery is dead. So you got to place it in the slot here. And then I can hit the start button. And this is the most we get right here, as you see. It will come up and say ready to go at some point, um, ready to drive as you see there, but you cannot. You put it in drive, and of course it will not move. You put it in reverse, it won't do anything, and the gasoline engine does not start. So we're gonna check for codes and, um, and see what we got going on here. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick walk around on the vehicle, show you what it looks like at the front. As you can see, it's disassembled because they changed the engine. You got your high voltage orange wiring there, right there. You definitely do want to, don't want to use your tongue to test that wiring. And here is in the trunk, our 12 volt battery. That's where it's located. And as you can see, the high voltage battery is under there and it's protected by that silver shield. And there's the fan cooling fan for it. So um, that's your location of the high voltage battery and that metal shield does have to be removed. Um, and as you can see there, here are the actual codes. As you can see, we're loaded up with codes. We got codes in pretty much every module, but what we're gonna focus on is the main code that would cause this no start are the uh, low voltage on the um, battery controller, right? So as you can see- Hybrid battery pack voltage 162, guys. That is a big red flag. You cannot have your voltage that low. Uh, this pack is rated at around 319, I believe. And state of charge, there is gonna be a big problem right there. State of charge is zero, okay? So state of charge being zero tells you right there that the battery is discharged at 100%. And you will not be able to start a hybrid vehicle with a, a flat battery like that. Um, in fact, it's not good to have it flat. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the um, HLG 120H C350A for this job. We're going to disconnect the hybrid battery and we're going to then um, connect up uh, manually and do a slow trickle charge uh, at half an amp, uh, 430 volts to charge up this hybrid battery. That's the first concern we're gonna take care of. And from there, we'll continue to see if there are any other issues that may cause a no start. We already pulled off the top cover here. You have to remove these plastics to be able to get to it. We're gonna remove the fan, disconnect the uh, fuse, and then we're going to, there's four bolts to remove the uh, battery. Here's just a quick tour with the plate removed. As you can see, these this gray connector is where the um, high voltage comes in and out. And this orange wire is where the actual disconnect, it's not a fuse, it's actually a disconnect, guys, um, to disconnect the main positive rail. And this is if you remove under, I believe that's the battery controller, and that might be the DC to DC converter right under there. Um, and there are where your main cells are located little part number here for you and you can see the cells inside when these ducts so those are the individual cells okay guys with the right hand cover removed these two connectors that i showed with the arrows are the ones you need to unplug to be able to get charging okay so the white cable is your negative as you can see i have my black lead connected and the orange cable is your positive as you can see i have the red lead connected to my multimeter um and the two yellow cables you see basically go out to my charger, right? So the negative on my charger, I believe is the blue and the positive is the brown. Um, you definitely wanna make sure you have good physical separation that nothing can move and disturb this. Uh, you might even tape everything up so that it cannot be disturbed. And as you can see, the orange disconnect is connected. You do have to have it in a connected position so that it can provide positive um, power to that um, orange c cable. You can always unplug it in an emergency as well. Connected power, so this is powered up. And as you can see, the voltage is actually going up right now. It's a slow process because this is trickling charge, trickle charging something at like uh, half an amp. Um, so as you can see, now we're going up to 189, 0.6, 0.7. So this battery was really discharged. So we're gonna leave it for um, so about probably six hours and we're going to come back and check it and see where we're at with the charge so this one was really discharged guys all 
All right, guys, it's now the next morning. Um, this has been on, uh, I've got the, uh, the amperage is actually very, very low because I left it overnight it, from 7 p.m., I believe, to about, it's now, what, about 10 a.m.? So I have the amperage pretty low. Let me go to now, volts, let's see where we're at. And we're up to 326 volts now, uh, charge on the battery. So uh, came up pretty good guys. From Imagine from 177, I believe in the car it was reporting 167, something like that. But disconnected was reporting 177 last night. Now we're up to 326. Guys, important note, this hybrid battery uh, has 76 cells, as you can see here, and they're rated up to 4.2 volts. So 76 times 4.2 comes to 319 maximum volts capacity. So we're a bit over here, guys. So you got to be um, on your uh, charging and make sure you don't want to really overcharge your pack. Okay, guys, just be very uh, mindful of that. I'm a little bit over here. And if you want to see the current, we are at half an amp, pretty much. Um, charge rate okay I left it about 30 minutes uh, actually about 45 minutes and it's still right around uh, 325.7 uh, the whole time I touched some of the cells they're cool to the touch uh, temperature is cold here in Houston right now so I think it was around 50 or 60 degrees last night so that was not an issue so we're gonna go ahead and uh, mount it back to the car first thing is to remove this uh, the fuse um, also, uh, in case I didn't tell you, but basically the fuse joins the positive side to where it then connects in. So that's what the fuse does. It breaks the connection to the positive rail of the uh, battery packs. That's what it looks like. Everything removed, we're gonna put everything, put it back in now temporarily and test it and make sure it starts up. By the way, you gotta remove those uh, rear seats to be able to remove this battery. So guys, it's not necessary to remove this pack from the vehicle to do what I did. You could simply remove this cover and you'll have access to the two connectors right there and be able to charge this pack up in the car. You do not have to remove it at all. I removed it because we wanted to test and check some other things, but it's not necessary to do this process to remove this pack from the vehicle. By the way, this is 12 volt in coming from um, the uh, battery, vice versa rather, and that is your high voltage. Uh, positive and negative coming out right there. All right, we got the fan plugged in, everything plugged in, uh, main 12 volt battery plugged in. Now we're gonna go do the last part, the fuse. So there it is. Now we're gonna do a test. Okay. Let's see if it'll key on. No key detected. Right, the fob battery is dead, so the slot is right here on this car. So let's see if it'll actually start now. I might have to clear the codes first. Speed limited to 80. Lift gated jar. Stop safely now. Okay. Starting system fault. Okay, let me connect up and check the code, see what we got. Okay, guys, the main code of concern here is the high circuit voltage disconnection circuit open, guys. So that means there's a problem with that disconnect that I call the fuse sometimes. Um, but uh, we're going to check that out. I forgot, I wasn't paying attention. When you do lock it like this, close it, you have to lock it all the way so it engages this switch here. And at that point, it's locked. So that was my problem. So let's try that again. And it's running, guys. I'm actually in reverse right now. And I can move. Let me try forward. And there it is. We're moving, guys. So that was a success, guys. Definitely click that thumbs up button, like and subscribe, check my other videos. I got a lot of different videos, a lot of ton of automotive secrets, and this car is running, guys. As you can see, we've got a full charge here. 
at the battery. Um, but the car's up and running now. If you look here at the gauge, guys, you'll see that it's full. And in the beginning of the video, it was empty. So that was your main issue on this vehicle.